What can you say about SQL Server 2025? Um, really nothing, because the, pr the uh, public releases aren't even out yet, the public previews aren't out yet. In the last couple of versions, Microsoft has had this tough problem where they've claimed a feature uh, would be part of a release, and then it either didn't ship at all, or else it wasn't ready at release time, and sometimes took years in order to release. So I don't really put into any faith or concern into things that they say will be ready until at the very least we have preview versions so we can see if it works or not. If I was you, I wouldn't put any thought into that either. We still don't even have a release date for the first uh, public preview, so I wouldn't concern yourself too much with that. My guess is that the final release of SQL Server 2025 will be likely in November or December of this year, uh, just as we saw with earlier versions, the kind of skating in under the, 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 uh, uh, the deadline there. Which is kind of a shame, because really, in a perfect world, they would label a release like that with SQL Server 2026, you know, and make it seem more timely. But they got slapped 2025 on there, because they're already running so late.